for grabs. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and what you're seeing are the beginning of, is the beginning of the 2017 Honeyoy Falls Homecoming, they call it the Fall Weekends Homecoming Parade, you see them all over the country, it's nothing unique. Uh, I'm not sure who these folks are. Maybe Lyman Christian Saints, I don't know. Praise not uh, going yet. But we'll take a look at it and All these trucks you're seeing aren't part of the parade. They're some tree and landscaping place that's local to here. And here we have some veterans. Thank you very much. Note the sign, Fall Weekend Parade Lineup, position number four. These signs are all over the place, and of course they're all different. That's how I learned that they were having it this weekend. really wasn't thinking about it, but uh, I saw the signs and I was curious, so I'm a compulsive reader. Cops are here directing traffic, normal stuff. Nothing interesting going on other than hope I get some good floats to look at, that's all. Lima is about roughly five miles south of here, give or take. Actually, I don't even think it's that far. So. The two school systems are just combined. There's an irritating wine going on. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, just on a personal note, the sign that you're seeing is for the corrupt sheriff of Monroe County. This is Monroe County, New York. And uh, four years ago, I was screwed over by one of his... Uh, deputies, I got a case of, he intentionally gave me, one of his deputies intentionally gave me a case of hypothermia and frostbite, and I did complain O'Flynn justified what the deputy did, so he is a major, major, major scumbag, do not vote for him, he is slime, he's scum, and the subject, I'm still boiling about it. I suppose it's not worth suing over. Instead of going to the hospital, I decided, well, I'll see if I can get the car to warm me up. I managed to make it home safely. No thanks to the uh, scumbag officer. Anyway, that's the personal side right there. Thank you, fellas. All right, uh, parade started. Just so I don't have to mute out. This is one of the uh, local Legion posts. These guys. And the cops are going to be leading the parade. State police on the right, Monroe County Sheriff on the left. So I'll be leading the parade.
On come the uh, medics. On to your core. All standard stuff. The floats will start eventually here. One thing I've noticed, and I don't have an answer for why this is, this place used, on this day, this place used to be crawling with cheerle cheerleaders. Not a one. In, in prior years, there used to be cheerleaders all over the place. There's nothing. Hundreds of football players with no cheerleaders. Don't know why. I may be corrected at some point. Hello. Hey, Lumney Hall of Fame, 2017 inductee. By the way, if you hear me booing, it'll be uh, Patrick O'Flynn if his parade, if he has anything in the parade. Alright, I'm looking down the way and there's a float. Okay, like I said, half a million football players, no cheerleaders. I don't have an explanation for this. So... Who knows why this is? I'm not even going to speculate. I've heard of that. I've heard of Rochester United as a hardcore leftist pinko commie uh, fascist group up in Rochester. I don't know about this one. So I go online and find out. Learn something new every day. Okay, I'm mostly just going to shut up and uh, watch parade now. I'm having to dodge people and stuff, so. I got to stay with Karen and Keith. Oh. 
he's a big baby. First said freshman. <laughs> Made of the mist. This is a big attraction with this particular parade. It's all the interesting floats. They have some very creative kids around here. Let's see what one this is. Mount Everest. I think we even have the bomb mold snowman on that one.
supposedly absent is uh, Lima Christian Saints. Well, in the past few years, I just got boned. the end of it right there. I'm seeing normal traffic behind the school buses, so cut this off and hopefully I won't have to mute much out because of the copyrighted music. 